We'll begin our class today in child's pose. So come to the back of your mat. Bring your big toes together to touch behind you. Spread your knees out wide to the edges of your mat. Begin to sink your hips down towards your heels. Reach your arms forward. Lower your chest toward the ground. Connect your forehead to your mat. Gently nudge your head side to side a couple times. To ground into your space. As you breathe in, stretch your fingertips forward toward the top of your mat. As you breathe out, sink your hips down closer to your heels. Take a big breath in through your nose. Fill your chest. Feel your lungs expand. Open mouth, exhale. Let the breath out till you're fully empty. That's it. Breathe in through your nose. Fill up. And breathe out through your mouth. Let it go. A little louder this time. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in through your nose. Feel your lips. Breathe out through your nose. And keep breathing in and out through your nose. Let the pace of that breath guide you through class today. As you breathe in, walk your hands toward the right corner of your mat. And then sink your hips down toward the left side of your mat, stretching a little more through your hips the opposite way from your hands. Then walk your hands back to center, walk them toward the left corner of your mat, and send your hips down toward your right heel. Hold it for a breath, in, and out. Then walk your hands back toward the front of your mat. Inhale, tabletop position. Rise up. As you exhale, slide your hands under your shoulders. Separate your knees right under your hips. Gaze down between your hands and spread your fingers wide. Feel the connection to your mat. Inhale, stretch your right arm out toward the side of the room and then lift it up over your head. Exhale, thread the needle, reach your arm under your left arm, slowly guide your right shoulder, cheek, and temple to the ground. Option to send your left fingertips forward or behind your back to your right hip. There you go. And bring your right hand down to the ground, your left hand down to the ground under your shoulder. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, send your left arm out to the left side of the room and then above your head. Exhale, spread the needle. Reach your arm under. Relax your shoulder, your head down. Send your right arm forward or behind your back, whatever feels good. And bring your right hand down to the ground under your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your left arm out and up. Exhale, tabletop, bring your hand to the ground. Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Send your heels toward your mat. Straighten your arms as you guide your chest toward your thighs. Bend one knee and then the other a few times. Warm up here. See how you feel today. Just check in. Shake your head no a couple times. Nod your head yes. Then find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet behind your wrists. Drape your chest over your thighs. Relax your head toward your mat.
option to interlace your hands gently behind your head and pull your belly toward your thighs. Or grab for opposite elbows, gently sway side to side. Take as much bend in your knees as you need and then start to straighten them to warm up your hamstrings. Let the stress in your shoulders, neck and head fall to your mat. Let it go. Find stillness, take a breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the ground in front of you. Toe heel your feet together to touch. Tuck your chin in slightly. Inhale, rise up to standing. Come up slow. And then exhale, standing at attention. Samasthiti. Bring your palms together at heart center. That's it. Stand tall and proud. Close your eyes. Or gaze over your fingertips. Set an intention now for yourself that is meaningful. It can be a word, a phrase, a name, a wish, a goal, anything. Today, my intention is presence. Wherever you are, be all there. Whatever the circumstances are around you, focus on your breath. Let your breath be your guide. And just be in the moment. Enjoy the moments as they come and be in them as they go. Let's feel our intentions together. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Nice, open your eyes, relax your hands by your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up toward the sky. Fire your fingers in gently toward each other so your shoulders relax down and away from your ears. And lift your hands a little higher toward the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to heart center. Hinge at your hips. Pull your belly over your thighs and release your hands to the ground. Relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift, slide your hands above or below your knees, or if you're flexible, you can keep them to the ground. I like to go all the way above my knees to stretch the low back. Bring your belly parallel to your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your back. Nice, take a breath in. Exhale, high plank, bring your hands to the ground. Step back, come to your push-up position and pull your belly in. Inhale, shift forward. Come to your tippy toes as you guide your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, low plank. Bend your elbows, keep them tight into your side body. Lower your chest toward your mat. Bend your elbows no more than 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Come to the shoelace side of your feet. Keep your thighs lifted as you lift your chest up through your arms. Gaze forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, look toward the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold, walk, step, jump, or float to the top of your mat. Any way you want to travel up there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Root your feet down. Rise up, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Bow down, touch the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow through that motion that we just did. All together, bend your elbows down toward the ground. Come to your knees if you need to. Inhale, upward facing dog. Gaze forward, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's flow through that one more time. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold, come to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, forward fold, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high, low plank. Stay strong. If you need to skip the little push up, you can. Inhale, upward facing dog. Beautiful, Rachel. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice big breath in. Nice, beautiful breath out. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your, bring your hips down and back and reach your arms forward. That's it. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Option to send your arms straight out to the sides or even to heart center. Do what feels best for your shoulders, but sit your hips down just a little lower. Here we build strength, focus, balance, flexibility, and determination as you sit just a little lower. Beautiful, take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dhanasana, you take your variation of this. Inhale, upward facing dog, high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. As you exhale, send energy out through your heel toward the wall behind you and square your hips. Good, inhale, lift your leg just a little higher. Exhale, low lunge, bend your knee, guide it past your chest and bring your foot to the ground between your palms. Stack your knee right over your ankle. Inhale, warrior two, spin your left foot down. Lift up, reach your arms out to your side. Guide your back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat or slightly pigeon toed. And then bend a little more into your front knee as you square your hips and shoulders, awesome. Inhale, lean in toward the wall in front of you. Exhale, extend at the side angle. Bring your right arm in front of your right leg. Option to bring it toward your mat or rest your forearm on your right thigh. Your left bridge to stretch up. Option to take your left arm toward the sky or to the wall in front of you, whichever variation feels good. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your front knee. Bring your left arm to your left leg. Reach your right arm up and back. Face your palm toward the wall behind you. As you inhale, lift up. As you exhale, stretch back. If you're feeling warm, you can bring your left hand to your right hip crease. Totally up to you. Take a breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, cartwheel your hands down. Step back and float through it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high behind you. As you exhale, point your toes down, square your hips, press the energy out through your heel toward the wall behind you. Inhale, lift just an inch higher. Exhale, low lunge. With control, bring your foot to the ground between your palms. That's it. Inhale, warrior two. Use your core strength, your leg strength. Lift up. Press your right heel into your mat. Reach your arms out to your sides at shoulder height. Guide your shoulders right over your hips. Look forward over your left fingertips. Inhale, lean in toward the wall in front of you. Exhale, extended side angle. Same options on this side. Your right arm can go straight to the sky, to the wall in front of you. Your left arm can be placed on your thigh, the inside of your thigh, or stretch all the way toward the ground with your arms perpendicular to your mat. Breathe into it. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your knee. Bring your right arm to your right leg. Lift your left arm up and back. Again, option to bring your right arm behind your back to your left hip crease. As you inhale, lift up. You exhale, stretch back. Take your breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow through it, yogis. You got it, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take another cleansing breath on your own. Begin to flow now, making breath to movement. Follow your own breath. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Go at your own pace. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low. 
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high. So low plank, stay strong. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm down, left arm high. Inhale, reverse warrior, switch out your arms, lift up and back. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Step through. Inhale, warrior two, rise up, arms out. Exhale, extended side angle, left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low. Chaturanga, stay focused. What was your intention? Are you with me? Are you present? Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. We start to build more heat in our bodies now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Any way you want to do it, you can jump or step back. Take any variation you wish. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Step through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low. Float through. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low. Yeah, you got it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Nice focus. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. Exhale, little lunge. Step your foot to the ground between your hands. Inhale, high crescent lunge with all 10 toes pointed forward. Reach your arms up over your head. Bend into your front knee. Take a moment to settle in here. Stack your left heel over your left toes. Bend a little more into your right knee. You got it. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lean forward. Draw your belly over your front thigh. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge to the right. Bring your left elbow across your body. Twist through your torso. You can bring your elbow onto or around your right thigh and knee. Bring your thumbs into your heart center and twist. You inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist, breathe. Hold it here for two more full rounds of breath. Take a breath in. And exhale, runner's lunge. Bring your hands to the ground on the inside of your right foot. Wiggle your right foot up and out on your mat and stretch. You want to come to your left knee. Feel free and come to your forearms. Wherever you are, you're getting a nice stretch in your right inner thigh. You've been running or doing extra walking the last days or weeks. Let the tension in your inner thighs and hips release here. Relax your head, let it go.
Wherever you are, we'll meet with your palm back flat on the ground on the inside of your right foot. And with your left knee lifted, take a breath in. Exhale, high planks and your right foot back to meet your left. Place your left hand right in the center of your mat. Inhale, side plank, open to the right. Spin around on the outside edge of your left foot. Reach your right arm to the sky. You have options here. You can stack or stagger your feet. You can come down to your bottom knee or lift your top leg. Wherever you, you can take it, stay strong. Engage your core, lift your right hand a little closer to the sky. Hold it here for one more breath. Lift your hips just a little higher. Take a breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Hand to the ground, slow through, so strong. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high behind you. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Reach your arms up over your head. Bend into your front knee. Align your shoulders over your hips. Step your right heel over your right toes. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward. Bring your belly over your front thigh. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge to the left. I get to look at you this time. Bring your thumbs into your heart center. Breathe into it. If you ever need to come to your knee, that's no worries. You're more stable that way. You can focus on the twist or stay up on the ball mount of your right foot. Breathe into it. Set your gaze forward or behind you, whatever feels best. You got this. Hold it. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Release your hands to the inside of your left foot. Wiggle, walk it toward the left corner of your mat and stretch. If you want, you can come down to your right knee. Come to your forearms. If you have any props at home, like a block, a book, or a towel, and you need to use that, the props are your friend. Wherever you are, no judging. Just release the stretch, the tension in your legs, your hips, and breathe through it. Again, become present by focusing on the power of your breath. Whatever position you took, we'll meet with your palms to the ground, with your right knee lifted, take a breath in. Exhale, high plank, send your left foot back to meet your right. Inhale, side plank, open toward the left. Remember we'll your right palm, place it down in the middle of your mat. Spin around on the outside edge of your right foot. Eye. You can stagger, stack, come down to your bottom knee. You can lift your top leg. It's up to you. Stay strong. You got this. Inhale, lift your hips just a little higher. Exhale, high to low with control. Yeah. Do it as smooth as you can. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, tilt forward. Bring your belly over your thighs. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. It's going opposite of you today. We're like, huh? Not in the mirror, I guess. Bring your elbow around the outside edge of your right knee and bring your palms back into your heart center. Keep your knees aligned so you can focus on the twist. So good for your spine, so good for your internal organs. Breathe into this twist. Option is then your left arm toward the earth, your right arm toward the sky. A little more of a chest opener here. Do what feels right for you. Now we'll meet back with our hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale, gorilla pose. Release your hands to the ground in front of you. Toe heel your feet out. The hip distance. 
flip your palms up with your fingers toward you. Like little spatulas, bring your hands under your feet. Guide your toes toward your wrist. Gently pull as you draw your belly toward your legs and your head toward the ground. Breathe. Yeah, let any tension you've been holding roll off the top of your head onto your mat. Let it roll away. Let it go now. Breathe in and breathe out. As you inhale, release your hands out from under your feet. You exhale, bring your feet back together to touch. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, hinge forward. Tilt your body forward, you got it. Exhale, prayer twist the other way. You're twisting through your, the base of your spine here. Keep your palms together at first. Ensure that your knees are in line. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, pull your bottom shoulder slowly under your top shoulder and breathe. Option to straighten your arms for an extra twist in your heart center. Sit your hips just a little lower. We'll meet with our hands at our hearts. Take a breath in. Exhale, gorilla pose. Second set with peace fingers. Bring your feet back to hip with, dis with distance. Take your two peace fingers around your big toes. Gently pull up on your toes. Pulling the crown of your head toward the ground and breathe into it. Hold it here for two more full rounds of breath. Let something go that you've been carrying with you that you do not need. You can do it. Let it go. Take a breath in. Exhale. Release your toes. Bring your feet together to touch. And inhale, plant your hands to the ground in front of you. Exhale, crow pose. Walk your feet right behind your hands. I'll show you from the side. Bend your elbows. Come to your tippy toes and gaze forward. Create a shelf for your knees with your triceps and lean into it. Gaze forward, pull your belly in. If you want to stay here, great. And if you want to come to a yogi squat, you can, or lift one foot, or both feet up off the mat and bring your toes together to touch, hold and breathe. Hold for three breaths if you can. And then we'll meet with your feet on the ground in a yogi squat. Heels in, toes out. I, how was that? When you're ready, come out. Nice work, yogis. It's fun to play around sometimes. Bring your palms to the heart center. You need more of a stretch in your inner thighs. Bring your fists together. Press them in. Good. Take a breath in. Yay, we have a visitor. This is Percy, if you don't know him. Take a breath out. And then, my friends, we're gonna reset. Come to child's pose when we start a class. Plant your hands down. Bring your knees toward the edges of your mat. Bring your toes together to touch behind you. Stretch your arms forward. Connect your forehead to the ground. At any time, if you need to take a sip of water, please do. I ask just when you're ready to connect your forehead to the ground. Revisit the intention that you set at the beginning of class. And if you share my intention of presence, Try to ground yourself into this moment by feeling and hearing your own breath. Breathe in peace. Breathe out stress. That's it. Breathe in calm. Breathe out tension. And breathe in love. Send that love out wherever it needs to go. Nice work. Inhale, tabletop, rise up to all fours. And exhale, cat pose, since we have a cat with us, you can see a little bit of his tail. Dome through your back and shoulders. Bend your gaze down or behind you, 
and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Hold it here for a full round of breath. Inhale, cow pose. Pull your belly down towards the ground. Send your chest and your heart forward. Lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, cat, po cow, cat pose. And exhale, cow. One more time on your own. Hold it as long as you need. And then when you're done, we'll meet back in a tabletop position with a flat back. Nice work. Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Inhale, lift to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low again. If you've been here before, just sit your hips a little lower than that. Exhale, eagle pose on the right. Bring your right arm under your left. Cross your elbows and your wrists and bring your hands together. Yeah, lift your right leg up and over. You can lift it and bring it behind your opposite leg. Go for it. Square your hips and your thighs. If you fall out, no big deal. Just try something new today, maybe. Lift your elbows a little higher. Think a little lower into your standing leg. It's all gonna be all right. We're gonna hold it here for four, three. Think a little lower, two, and one. Take a breath in. Exhale, unwind. Bring your foot to the ground. Reach your arms to your side. Inhale, chair pose, sit low. Exhale. Eagle on the left, bring your left arm under your right. Lift your left leg over your right. You have so many options. This hurts your shoulders, just grab for opposite shoulders. You can always use your foot as a kickstand or guide that foot behind your opposite calf. Just see what happens. Square your hips and your shoulders, nice. Lift your elbows a little higher. Try sending your hands forward toward the wall in front of you. You got it. Sink just a little lower. Let's hold it here for four, three, gonna be all right, two, one. Take a breath in and exhale. Bring your feet to the ground. Bring your arms to your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your arms up over your head. Exhale, baby, back bend. Bend your elbows. Out to shoulder height, lean back. Lift your heart, look up to the ceiling above you. Catch your breath here as you squeeze your elbows together behind you. Inhale, mountain pose, rise back up, send your hands to the sky. Exhale, dancer's pose on the right side. Bring your right elbow to your right side of the body. Flip your palm up and kick your right foot into your right hand. If you need to use the wall or a chair, you can for balance. Option to stay right here. Take a breath in as you stretch your left fingertips up to the sky. As you exhale, start to kick your right foot into your right hand. Begin to lean forward, but keep your left arm lifted. See if you can keep your hips square. If you fall out, no big deal. Just recenter, get right back in. With each inhale, stretch forward. And with each exhale, Kick your leg back behind you. That's it. Nice work. Hold it for two more breaths. Kick just a little higher. Take a breath in. And exhale, release. Bring your foot down. Bring your hands by your side. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift up. Exhale, baby back. Bend, bend your elbows. Lift your heart. Lean back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, dancers on the left side. Bring your left elbow to your left side body. Side might feel a little different. Take your left heel up towards your back and capture it to the inside. So you want the eye of your elbow facing out. Bring your knees together, find your balance. You can stay here if you want or take a breath in. 
And exhale, dancer's pose. Start to hinge forward. Keep your foot into your hand. If you fall out, no big deal. Keep your right arm lifted. Keep your left foot in your Keep your gaze up. Where your eyes go, your body follows. Breathe. That's it. Keep up just a little higher. Stretch your arm a little more forward. Take a breath in. And exhale. Standing at attention, bring your foot down, bring your hands to your heart. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, tree pose on the right side. Lift your right foot up and place it to the inside of your left leg. And come to your ankle, your calf, or all the way up to your upper thigh. That's it, Barbara. Start with your hands at your heart, and then you can take any shape you want. If you want, you can lift your arms up over your head, separate them. You can do a leaning tree, a twisting tree. Whatever kind of tree you want, just be. Stay with me if you fall, come right back in. Focus on your breath. Awesome, as you inhale, grow a little taller. Yeah. Exhale, standing in attention, release your foot down. Inhale, tree pose, other side. Same or similar shape on this side, may feel a little different. Avoid pressing your foot into your knee. Just go above or below it. You can also use it as a kickstand or use a wall or a chair to support you. Start with your hands at heart center. Feel that isometric stretch, equal and opposite, hand to hand. Put the leg like the foot. Take any shape you want. Leaning tree, twisting tree, anything you want. Hold it and breathe. That's it, press your foot down, grow a little taller, lengthen through your spine. Beautiful, take a breath in. Exhale, standing at attention, bring your hands to your heart. Press both feet into the ground, breathe in. Breathe out, nice work, Tim. Release your arms to your sides, palms face forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Shatter on the dasana. Anytime you need water, take it. Inhale, upward facing dog. This is your class, so do what feels right. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose. Bend your knee. Don't throw your back and shoulders. And tuck your chin in. Now your knee comes towards your face. Maybe it touches your nose. Good, inhale, lift your leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. Inhale, warrior one pose. Bring your left heel to the mat so your left toes are pointed toward the left corner of the room and then lift your chest up, bend into your right knee. Maybe wiggle, walk your right toes a little wider and reach your arms up over your head. Good. Take a breath in. And exhale, bring your hands behind your back and lace them. Inhale, press your knuckles toward the ground, lift your heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Lean your belly forward, draw your right shoulder toward your right inner thigh. Relax your head. Guide your palms toward each other and stretch through your shoulders. If this hurts for any reason, if you have an injury, you can come out of this. Hold it for two more full rounds of breath. Then inhale, warrior one, lift up, unlock your hands, reach them over your head. Exhale, warrior two. Now you're opening up your hips. You had them closed, now open them. Inhale, lean in toward the wall in front of you. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten your front leg. Reach your right arm down towards your right leg or the ground. Lift your left arm up. Your body should look something like a triangle. Option to look up at your thumb above you. Spire open through your heart center a little more. 
Beautiful. Inhale, rise up. Bring your arms out to your sides like a T. Exhale, parallel your feet to the short edges of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Pull your belly forward. When you can go no further, bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Relax your head. The headstand is in your practice. If you want to take it, Susan, go for it. Anyone else, take it. If you're in your wide leg forward fold, balance your weight from your heels to the ball mounts of your toes. Bring your belly closer to the wall behind you and your head closer to your mat. Clear your mind here. Breathe into your stretch. If you went upside down, take your time. You can stay there as long as you want. And then slowly, we're gonna meet back wherever you are. Bring both feet and both hands to the ground. Then lift your hands, lift your belly slightly. Reach your arms out to your sides, look like airplane wings. Engage your core muscles with a flat back. Inhale, rise up slowly. Yes, you can. And yes, you did. Exhale, warrior two. Yeah. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Lift your right arm up and back. Bring your left arm to your left leg. Breathe into it, beautiful. Take a breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Not too many more of these. Stay strong, stay focused. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. I mean your left leg, we're on the other side. Lift your left leg. You got it? And exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. Squeeze it in, engage your core. Don't throw your back and shoulders, get a little closer. Hold it. Inhale, lift your leg high, nice work. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, warrior one. Slide your right heel to the ground. Use your core strength, lift up, and then maybe wiggle walk your left foot out so that your hips are closed and pointed forward. Reach your arms over your head. Gaze to the wall in front of you, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back and interlace them. There you go, inhale, press your knuckles down, look up. Exhale, humble warrior. Lean forward and down. We're on the home stretch, yogis. Make this feel good. So wherever you are, if it feels good to stretch through your shoulders, go for it. If that hurts, come out of it. Relax your head. Breathe. Hold it for one more round of breath here. Nice. Inhale. Warrior one. Lift up. Unwind your hands. Reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Shift your feet. Bring your right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Reach your arms out. Take a breath in. Then exhale, parallel your feet to the short edges of your mat. Again, bring your hands to the base of your spine and interlace them. If you inhale, press your knuckles to the earth. Look up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold with this shoulder stretch. Or you can bring your hands to your hips. I'm gonna turn around. If you wanna do another headstand, feel free. Maybe you just wanna do a tripod where your head is down, two hands, your feet come onto your triceps, something like that. Or keep taking your wide-legged forward fold or your full headstand, whatever you need today. Option here to gently release your hands if they're behind your back and take a little twist, bringing your right hand to the outside edge of your left um, ankle. And either reaching your left arm up or 
bringing it to join your right hand and twisting, whatever feels good for you. And if you do that on one side, take it to the other side. See how that feels. If you're a runner, or you've been walking more than usual, the runner's lunge, these twists should feel good for your hamstrings. And if you went into a headstand, slowly come out when you're ready. Everyone come meet together with your hands in front of you on the ground, both feet on the ground, both hands on the ground. Reach your arms out to your sides like airplane wings. Keep your back flat, engage your core, inhale, rise. Yeah, high, exhale, warrior two. And inhale, straighten your front leg, lean forward. Exhale, triangle pose. Drop your right arm down, lift your left arm up. Breathe into it. You got it. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lift up and back. Breathe into it. Take your breath in. Exhale, high to low plank, last one to fast. Last one, favorite one. That's one. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Bend your knee, bring it to the ground behind your right wrist. Bring your right foot behind your left wrist. So it's like number seven with your legs. And then bend your left leg straight behind you. Walk your hands closer to your body, gaze forward. Option to stay right here. Option for resting half pigeon. Come to your forearms. Or if you're feeling flexible today, you can bring your belly all the way down to the ground, bring your forehead to the ground. Send your energy to your hips. Let tension go there. Relax your head and breathe. If you lower down, rise up, bring your palms back to your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog. Tuck your left, left toe under. Release your right leg and lift it up and back. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, scorpion dog. Bend your knee. Lift your right hip over your left and twist this toward the right side of the room. Option here if you want to flip and lift your right arm toward the wall in front of you, go for it. If you want to do something else fancy, you can. Otherwise, we'll meet back slowly in a three-legged dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, half pigeon, other side. Bring your shin as parallel to the top of your mat as you can get it. Then release your right leg straight behind you. If you want, you can look over your shoulder to make sure your foot isn't skewed to one side or the other. Walk your hands a little closer to your body. Yeah, you can stay here if you want, or come to resting half pigeon on your forearms. Or if you're feeling it today, you can bring your head all the way to the ground. Breathe into your intention, whatever it was. Bring it to mind and then let it go. And send your thoughts with your breath to your hips. Let the tension go. Come back to your palms. You inhale, 
Tuck your right toes under, exhale. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg up. Take a breath and exhale, scorpion dog. Bend your knee, twist, bring your left hip over your right. If you feel like flipping, flip, lift your arm up and back. Do whatever feels good for you. You want to do something fancier, do it. If you don't feel like doing this at all, no worries. Then we'll be back in a three-legged dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift to your hands. Exhale, high plank. Draw your shoulders over your wrist. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Come to the shoelace side of your feet and squeeze your legs together tight. Squeeze your feet together. Bring your chin to the mat. Press your hands gently into the mat under your shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, baby cobra pose. With little to no weight in your hands. Lift your heart. Lift your chest. Keep your head and neck long. Option to lift your hands off the mat. Press your feet down, lift up a little higher. You've got this. Lift up one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your left cheek to the ground, look to the right, release your arms by your sides. Relax. On your next inhale, bring your chin to the center of your mat. As you exhale, send your arms forward toward the wall in front of you in a V shape. Then inhale, full locust pose. Lift your arms and your legs off the ground. All right, like you're flying somewhere amazing. Lift a little higher. You got this, keep breathing. Imagine you're going somewhere amazing. Literally or figuratively, take yourself there. Lift up one more time. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Bring your right cheek to the mat. Look to the left. Rest your arms by your side. Relax. On your next inhale, bring your chin to the center of your mat. Do you exhale, bend your knees so that your heels come toward your back and reach your hands for the outer edges of your feet. Draw your knees close. Then inhale, floor bow pose. Lift your heart and belly off the ground. Start to kick your feet into your hands. With each inhale, lift. With each exhale, kick back. Maybe roll once into the soft part of your belly. Kick a little higher. You're like a raindrop shape with your body here. One more time, take a breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down. Look the opposite way, look to the right. Release your feet, bring your arms to your sides. Relax once again. You're all on and then you're all off. Let it go. On your next inhale, bring your chin to the center of your mat. As you exhale, interlace your hands at your low back one more time. We've done a bunch of these. So good for your spine. As you inhale, press your knuckles toward the back of the room. You exhale, lift your feet and your arms up. So this is just an option. You can do another variation of locust pose if you want. Looks good, lift a little higher, breathe. You got this, two more breaths. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, lower down, unwind, look the other way. Completely relax. On your next inhale, bring your chin to the center of your mat. You exhale, bring your hands to the ground and push yourself up to a tabletop position. So much to do, so little time. 
Shift your weight onto your back. Send your legs forward. Lie down on your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug with your arms around your shins. Rock side to side a couple times. Find stillness. Take a breath in. And exhale. Easy twist to the right. Bring your knees over to the right side of your mat. Tee out your arms, look to the left. If you want to take a traditional supine twist by squeezing one leg up, feel free. We're not here for long. As you inhale, lift both knees up. As you exhale, guide them to the left side of your mat. Send your gaze the opposite way. Keep your arms out and stretch with your elbows, elbows and shoulders on the ground. Last twist of class. Consciously be present in this moment. And twist out anything that no longer serves you to leave yourself with space to fill with hope, positivity, beauty, love, and compassion. As you inhale, lift your legs up. Draw your arms around your shins one more time. Inhale, cosmic ball pose. Lift your forehead up towards your knees. Create as tight of a ball as you possibly can. One more little sit of air in. Exhale, resting pose, Shavasana. Lie down on your mat. You did it. Send your legs forward. Relax your arms by your side. Close your eyes and just be we're at the top of the hour if you need to go at any time please feel free but i'm gonna allow you to stay in your shavasana for at least a full minute absorb the benefits of your beautiful practice today and just be relaxed i'll let you know when it's time to move on Okay, yogis, take your time here. Bring life back to your fingers and your toes. Gently roll out your wrists and your ankles. Slowly move your head side to side a few times. Take a nice big full body stretch. Reach your arms up over your head. Allow your backs of your hands to come behind you. You exhale, roll over to fetal pose. Turn to either side, curl your knees one at a time towards your heart, rest your head on your bicep like a pillow. Take a quiet moment to be present. I share this quote from Buddha with you, the wisdom and power in his words. He said, the secret for health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, not to worry about the future or not to anticipate troubles, but to live the present moment wisely and earnestly. Do not mourn for the past. Do not worry about the future. Do not anticipate troubles. Simply live the present moment wisely and earnestly. 
Slowly come to a seated position when you're ready. With your legs crossed or sitting on your heels. Beautiful, bring your palms together at your heart center. Let your eyelids close or gaze down over your fingertips and connect your hand into your heart center and feel your energy. Feel the energy between your hands and between your hands and your heart. In this moment, take this beautiful energy with you, carry it with you for the rest of the day, for the week ahead. Come back to your breath when you need it. And remember the power of being present in this moment. Okay, let all the air out of your lungs, completely deplete, let go, empty. Then fill all the way up, lift your chest into your hands, hold at the top, big loud open mouth exhale. Beautiful, lift your thumbs to your forehead, take a slight bow forward towards your own heart, Namaste. Namaste and thank you so much. Thank you for being here.